Yes, hello, my name is Jeff Goldblum, and you are Buzzfeed, Buzzfe Buzzfeeders. Do you call yourselves Buzz Buzzfeedians? Or you've never seen me cross-legged on the floor before, um, except when I when I auditioned for for uh, Waiting for Guffman, and I was the storyteller. Yeah, beans. Don't get me started about beans. Yeah. No, I'm only kidding. No position I, I'd rather be in like this. I wish I had my guitar and could be singing some some nice campfire songs. I'm gonna get some puppies in here. I love puppies. I did that movie, I Love Dogs. So I do love dogs, and uh, Wes Anderson is a genius. And I have a dog myself, and we got him when he was a puppy. Woody, his name is, we, he's a, he's a red-haired standard poodle. Anyway, puppies, so wait, wait, watch these puppies. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi, sweetie pie. We did an episode for this show, According to the World, According to Jeff Goldblum, on um, ju ju jewelry. And I talked to a guy, and I forget where, because he was telling me about his sweet, beloved Miss Piggy, his little dog. He cremated the dog, Miss Piggy, and then turned it into a jewel, into a diamond, a pink diamond. Look, oh, baby. Baby, baby. I'm deeply in love. I'm deeply in love. My fashion icons and inspiration currently are my two sons. I've got a four-year-old boy named uh, Charlie Ocean and a two-year-old named River Joe. Listen to this, for Halloween, River Joe. I've been showing them, there's no screen time for either of the kids, but we've been showing them little Chaplin shorts, Charlie Chaplin short subjects. They love it. And the two-year-old is obsessed, is gonna go for uh, this Halloween as Charlie Chaplin. He got his outfit yesterday for like a half an hour, couldn't stop being Charlie Chaplin. I took pictures, I've got pictures right now on my phone. You cannot believe if I could look like that. And he was, he couldn't get, he just kept exploring and falling down and he had this cane. Anyway, he's my, I'd like to look like that. He's my fashion icon. The world according to Jeff Goldblum, you know, that's a character I can relate to. That's me and I'm him and uh, so that's, that's me. Besides that, well, look, Ian Malcolm in Jurassic World, which I'm going to do again, is a, is a wise, he's much smarter than I am, but I aspire to his wisdom and perspective and science. Well, what's the name of this sweet dog? That's Julianne that you're holding. Julianne, like Julianne Moore mm -hmm. uh, in, in Jurassic Park the Second, Lost World. Julianne Moore. Um, and what's this one's name? That's Gaga. Gaga. Yeah. I love Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh, Jeff. They say, you know, I'll bet, I'll bet nobody tells you this. I really liked you in da 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 da, or something unexpected. You know what they used to do? I used to go to parties, this is a while ago, and they would just come up behind me and go, Bzzz. I guess that was the fly, you know, a fly joke, you know. Mostly, you know what they do? They say, hey, can we, can we take a picture? Sorry to bother you. Do you mind if, we, uh, if I take a quick selfie? So that's what we do. That's mostly what they say. Yeah, I said, sorry, can I, can I get a selfie? Can I get a selfie too? That's what they say. Or I meet a lot of them at these jazz gigs. I've got this jazz group and we, I meet a lot of them at these gigs because I make myself available, which I like to do. I'm very interested in them. And they, uh, and I talk to them and we take pictures. And so, uh, you know, this and that. That's so interesting that you should say that. Um, we did an episode on makeup. And it took me to, we, we, we went to, I went to this drag show, Hamburger Mary's, and, uh, and met them, and it was very interesting. In fourth grade, my mom, Shirley, in Pittsburgh, for Halloween, which is now a seasonal, ripped from the seasonal headlines, uh, she, she wanted me to be a witch. And she dressed me up, I'm telling you, as a really elaborate, she loved costume, and she was a craft abuser herself. She made moo-moos for us, and cut my hair, and all did all sorts of things. But on this occasion, we got a kind of a ghoul mess, but a wig, and she put her brassiere on me and stuffed it up, so I had a bosom, and then she put, I had a little crinoline thing, and skirts, and I had some ballet slippers, and I had some gloves, the fingertips of which were missing, and then she put long plastic fingernails, fake fingernails on me, so I was a lady, big, big lady in fourth grade, but I enjoyed being masked because I'm a good boy, I was a very good boy in school, in that school. What I liked best was that I was malevolent in some way, and I kind of started to menace and t t 
pu push the other children around a little, little bit, you know, and I like that for a time, you know, I never misbehaved, and it sort of accessed another part of me. My drag name in that instance was uh, uh, Wanda, the Wicked Witch of the, uh, you know, of Pittsburgh, you know. <laughs> what would my what would my drag name now be if I dressed up as a, a lady now? I don't know that I'd be an attractive lady, I, I, I have to say, but right now I'd be, you know, Jeff, Jeff Inda, Jeff, Jeff Inda, or Michelle, or, you know, Lucy. I'm a minimalist. I try to. I'd like my, my. I aspire to wandering the earth in a diaper and a uh, and with a bowl and a spoon. I, that's all I want to own, really. And I don't know about the diaper part. Why can't I? Uh, in this scenario, how come I can't find a find a bathroom? I don't want to poop my pants. Forget it. I think that used to. That's an obsolete uh, fantasy at this point. I do like to keep it pruned down. So glasses at different points I've had and collected a healthy amount of choices. And currently, we love this Jacques Marie Mage designer. We went to his studio here. I think all I've got at this point, besides a couple of Tom Ford glasses that we had, you know, the former cycle that we've kept, I don't know, a half a dozen or seven. But this is how you train puppies, I think. You get to be, hey, I'm the alpha dog here, so if they, if they can let you do this. I, I, I met that dog whisperer, uh, Cesar yeah. Milan. He was lovely, you know why? Because I was playing a dog in Adam Resurrected. I needed to be a dog, so I did my due diligence and went to look at the dogs, and looked at our dogs, and then went to him. And he said, yeah, you can come over and talk to me. Saw his whole gang of dogs, and I said, how am I gonna be a dog, and why Why are dogs like they are, et cetera, et cetera. What if I asked you to join us, Gaga, like this? Could you possibly join the, cr oh, sweet, come on. This is the happiest moment of my whole life. That's it, if nothing happened from this point on, I'd be absolutely fine. I think I was the piano, and I sang with Brian Stokes Mitchell, Mitchell who played my husband in that, and uh, Leah Michelle was our daughter. We did a scene together. I, I loved it. I love Wes Anderson, so any, you know, those sets are just, I, I kind of, they're just fantastic fantasias, you know, of the group of the town, of the, the cast and the, we went to Rome, to Cinecittà, and filmed a little of uh, Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, and then went to Gore Vidal's villa in the south of Italy. And then for uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel, we went to Gerlitz, Germany. It was a winter wonderland, and we were all surround, surrounded there, you know, with, uh, you know, Bill Murray and everybody. It was just fantastic. Uh, and Nashville, oh my gosh. I, I'd love to go back to 1973. Nixon resigned on television that summer, and we all were watching it together. It was a moment of jubilation and sadness, bittersweet, of course, uh, for the, the country, but a moment of, of um, celebration. And uh, we were all there, Lily Tomlin and Keith Carradine, Shelley Duvall, and, uh, and Shelley Duvall and I went to, uh, she said, there's this guy, um, David Bowie, who's doing this Diamond Dogs tour, uh, you know, Ziggy Stardust, he's gonna play live here in Nashville. Let's you and I go together, we did. We saw that. I, little did I know would I later go and work with him, so I'd revisit that set into the night and once again be able to be with David Bowie. We had a couple of scenes together. I could do the whole thing again, you know. I w wouldn't mind if uh, at the end of it you just went back and did the whole thing over again. I wouldn't mind that for a moment. We went to for pools. We started talking about pools. You'd think we'd be visiting swimming pools. We went to NASA, the Neutral Buoyancy Lab in Houston, and I talked with astronauts who had been up in space and met a couple of women who were training for the new astronaut team, and they went in this pool that was so large that they had a, a replica of the space station, the International Space Station, there, and they were practicing there, and I went and put on scuba gear and snorkel gear and floated around with them and found out many things about space and neutral buoyancy. And then a guy who was up in the space station currently called me, and I had a talk with an astronaut from space. Ooh, my dream life, ooh. So I had dreams last, last night, sometimes I don't remember them, but I know I dreamed. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, I'm very 
very rich dream life. Sometimes I dream that that um, uh, that I'm unwelcome someplace, that I'm un unwelcome, uh, or that I'm being chased, you know, around, or there's some crisis. And by the way, I had a dream. The first dream that I can remember was about a a, uh, a witch. Speaking of a witch, and uh, she got me on a, a stump and she tied me up, and I thought she was going to cut my head off, but she all she did was she went peaches. Peaches. And then my brothers, two older brothers, found out about it, and we shared a room. And at night, when we all went to bed together, you know, at the same time in three different beds, they would go, Peaches, Peaches. Yeah, how about that? Uh, once again, I haven't been following it so much. I know I should, but if it sounds, if everything worked out, well, it's as I said in that uh, video. Uh, I had faith in, uh, you know, uh, all the, the players involved. Uh, they're, they're adults and professionals, and uh, I, I imagine everybody wants is for the, the, the greatest good for the entire community, and that must include a marriage, a successful marriage, and new Spider-Man stories. So, bravo, and I'm very happy. Um, hey where we're talking about it, in fact, you know, I, I hope so. I love Taika Waititi, he's a great director and a friend of mine, so I hope so. But I played the part again a couple of days ago. I went to the Disney Studios uh, and I recorded the Grand Master's voice for an episode of a show that's gonna be on Disney Plus called What If, where it's an animated version of all the characters we know and love from Marvel. And this episode included the Grand Master and Iron Man, so Robert Downey, will do a voice in that, and uh, Korg, Taika Waititi will do, had already recorded his voice for that. So yeah, I enjoyed for a couple hours, I enjoyed doing that again. So uh, the Grand Master is, uh, is uh, as well. All I want you to remember, if you remember nothing else, VanderpumpDogs.org. That is the website that you must visit because Vanderpump is the company, the great company that provided these it's out of this world, adorable um, puppies, and we love Vanderpump. Vanderpump. So, get get go, go to VanderpumpDogs.org. That's it.